every detective has a case. Mine? My room is never clean. The evidence trail points straight to physics. And the main suspect? Entropy. Let us take a box of 12 balls, 6 red and 6 blue. There are only two possible ways of separating the balls vertically. But if you want to arrange them randomly, there are nearly a thousand ways of doing so. 922 to be exact. Each of these 924 arrangements is called a microstate. And the overall pattern, like separated or mixed, is called a macrostate. So we say that the mixed macrostate has a greater number of microstates or arrangements, so it has higher entropy. So this means that entropy is simply the number of microstates. But how exactly does this relate to my, I mean, our room? Back to the crime scene. There are so many ways a room could be messy. Socks in the desk, socks in the bed, socks under the bed, you get the point. But there aren't as many ways a room could be clean. So that means a messy room has high entropy and a clean room has low entropy. And like the universe, closed systems always tend towards increasing entropy. Wait, wait, what do you mean always? I mean, there must be some probability that the entropy decreases. But as the scale of objects increases, the gap between the number of ordered and disordered microstates widens. So the odds of objects randomly becoming ordered is so astronomically low that entropy just never decreases. Now behold, exhibit V. Which clip do you think is reverse? It's the second one. But it doesn't really disobey any laws of physics. I mean, the pens just happen to bounce back with the right velocity. Yet, we never see this happening in real life. Why? Well, since entropy always rises, things always fall into disorder, like the ribbon, not the other way around, like the pens. So as time moves forward, entropy ensures the processes never reverse or go from high to low entropy, which is why it is called the arrow of time. So that's why your deck never unshuffles, why a balloon never unpops, why paper doesn't uncrumple. Not because order can't exist, but because disorder is the default. And no matter how many clues I discover as a detective, one thing's certain, time only moves forward because entropy always wins.